Hey everyone, this is Pete, and welcome back to New Game Plus, our weekly exploration of post-game content and New Game Plus modes. We're continuing our New Game Plus playthrough of Atelier Rorina DX on Nintendo Switch today. So far, we've been having a pretty easy time of it, with plenty of time to spare. Our equipment in the uh, workshop has allowed us to easily gather lots of things and, uh, and send them back without having to waste too much time. And the characters we've been using up until this point have been uh, very well equipped with how I left them at the end of the first playthrough as well. So from now though, we're starting to grind up the friendship of some characters that I haven't used much before. So they have slightly worse equipment. They've still got Rowena with them, who will still flatten pretty much anything in one hit. Uh, but the others, we're going to need to work a little bit on their equipment and stuff. So, let's see how that goes from today. Right, welcome back. As always, there is work to be done in the world of Atelier Rorina. We're into April of year two now. We've got 89 days to do our next assignment. So this is a, a regular length one rather than one of the, the shorter ones. So what have we got to do? We have got to deal with forest monsters. So... Uh, we have to de uh, defeat vultures in the nearby forest. Now, there's actually two ways you can do this. Uh, you can go and just fight them until the meter fills up, which is probably the easiest way to do it. Um, but it is also the most time-consuming way of doing it. You will get some experience from doing that, but uh, it's fairly negligible. Um, instead, what it's actually worth doing is um, making use of, I think it's this wild scent item. What category is that in? Oh, evidently, I don't have the recipe for it yet. So, okay, that gives us our first job then. Let us go and stop by the places with events, get some stuff, and then go shopping. Still a load of old shit. Thanks, Mum. Right, uh, pop by Tiffany's. Right, she ha oh, she has the recipe for wild scent. So yes, we will have one of those if you please. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is the wholesale system that I've mentioned a few times previously. Uh, wholesale basically means that you can uh, you can give an item to Tiffany, uh, and also later you can do it with uh, certainly Ixel. Can't remember if you can do it with Haggle, but you can certainly do it with um, Tiffany and Ixel. Uh, and what you can do is you can register an item that you've got that Tiffany is able to sell. And she will then just quietly duplicate that for you. Um, and every few days you come back, she'll have restocked in it, just like her normal items. And you, you can bu basically buy copies of that item from her. They, they will be exact copies of the item that you give to her. So, for example, if I gave her this uh, Zettel that I'm looking at here, the ones that she'll have for sale will be quality 75. They'll have last boost and resist fire attached to them. So, um... It's a really good way of saving yourself a hell of a lot of time. Um, but it's worth having some good items on hand to do that with in the first place, which we don't really at the moment. So it's not really worth doing just yet. But once we've done stuff like make some really high quality supplements and various ingredient items, it's worth uh, registering them with uh, Tiffany because, uh, yeah, it saves you a lot of time. Saves, saves you a lot of steps in the crafting process. Saves you having to make all those intermediate steps. Uh, so if you've just got the money to buy them, then buy them instead. Any recipes? No recipes from you. But you are going to offer me wholesale, aren't you? Yep, there we go. Oh, 
So again, okay, Ixa will only take certain items. So if we look at what we've got now, any of these tarts that we've made, the cabbage soups, the honeys. So it's also it'll also take ingredient items as well as um, finished products as well. So worth remembering. Um, but we'll again we'll leave that for now because we don't have any particularly good quality items at the moment. Right. So um, let's just quickly pop by. Haggles as well. Just see if he has any recipes. Yep, there we go. So he's got the recipes for some more advanced metals and cloths now. I think those might be the best metals and cloths actually. They're certainly pretty high up there anyway. Gold Tyson is like the, the equivalent of gold in this world. Right. Let's get cracking on some stuff. I love the I learned something music. There's an even better mix of it in um, Atelier Meruru. I'm looking forward to sharing that with you in probably about three years time at this rate. Okay, so can we make a wild scent? We can make a wild scent. Uh, let's make... A few of them. Let's make five of them. I can always sell them if we don't need them. Right, okay, here's, here's an important thing then. If you look at this first option here, uh, it says Vulture Away. And you'll notice that however, however much you fill that bar, regardless of the ingredient you use, it's always going to have the Vulture Away effect. And so basically what Wild Scent is, it's a Vulture Repellent. Simple as that. In fact, you know what? Oh, I can't remember if you need to do them in the different areas. Yeah, let's let's make five anyway. We'll get some experience from it anyway. Now, what that means is that we don't need to make this amazing quality. So we can use some shitty old ingredients for this bit here. We'll use an overripe cabbage and some normal water and the shittiest of bones. And that awards us with this. So there we've got another synthesize um, trait there. Which is the combination of last level 1 and last level 2. It decreases the de deterioration factor by 100%. Not especially important for our purposes here. In fact, none of these are particularly important for us now. So we may as well just pop a few on there just to buff the quality up a bit. And there we go. 94 experience. That's a level up. And we'll pop those in the basket. And so, that gives us that objective there. So, let's immediately pop by and report that, because I, I believe there's some other ones we've already done as well. So, what have we done? Done Make Wild Scent. Explore the Cata Games, yes, because we've already done that. Explore the Traveler's Way, already done that as well. There we go. Right, what have we got? Uh, any books? No. So, uh, what should we go for? We're going to get them all eventually, so it doesn't really matter. So, um, let's just go for the vouchers then. For now. And that will do. So, what else have we got to do? So, there's a black demon in the catacombs. That's a boss to fight. Uh, there's a rock in the traveler's way. And the boss makes spring cup. Use Meteor three times in battle. Uh, defeat three Griffins, and then the usual gubbins there. Okay, so it should be pretty straightforward to actually do all of these um, missions this time around. But again, we only really need to do enough to fill the bingo card. All right, Meteor. We still haven't found any star pieces yet, have we? So that's not going to help. I think I checked this last time, but I don't think the library actually tells you stuff you haven't found in this playthrough yet, so. No, I don't see Star Piece in there anywhere. Okay, that's fine. Um, 
right, so who have we got in a party at the minute? We've got Leonella and Tantris. How's their equipment looking? Uh... I think we buffed them up a bit last time, didn't we? So let's let's see how they get on for now. Uh, they're not going to be as good as um, Ixel and Cordelia, just because well they haven't got the the same levels uh, and they don't have basically end game equipment now. So Rowan is still going to flatten absolutely everything, but the other two might need uh, a hit or two to actually get going. But we do need to get their friendships up. Uh, Lee and Lola is at thirteen at the minute, and Tantris is on zero. So. Let us go and do something about that. So, first thing we'll do is we'll try and get the assignment out of the way. So that means popping by the nearby forest. Coke warning. もちろん覚えてるよ。アトリエの店主を口説き落とすことでしょ。だからこうやって。違う。あのアトリエを潰すことか。あの区画一帯を工場にして町の生産性を上げることが。工場の一個や二個で。それに僕だったら。もう Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think I mentioned previously, I've not really used Tantris at all before in any of my playthroughs, so um, that scene there was completely new to me. Right, we got an event in the Puni Woods. Now I've got a burp brewing. I do apologize in advance. <laughs> yeah, so here we are. So if we hadn't made Wild Scent prior to this point, we'd have to go and fight them all one by one. Which would get us a bit of experience, but, um, you know, when you can just do this. <laughs> There's certainly a Wild Scent coming from that. Me! <laughs> I made a funny laugh. Please. Thanks. Please subscribe. Okay, there we go. So, the vultures are now gone. May as well gather a few bits and bobs while we're here. Get that gathering. Objective done. There's a King Poonie. May as well kick his ass. Why not? Why not? Oh no, his stats went up. What skills has Tantris got? So, Battle Song, Attack Up for Everyone in Party, and that's useful. Or Gorgeous Slash, Physical Damage and Attack Down on the enemy. Those are pretty useful skills. I should have probably used him sooner, but... Well. Such a pimp. Love it. Okay, so first area dealt with. Let's just check if we need to go in. Yes, we do need to clear out the other area separately. So it is a good job with we uh, we made the other wild sense. Yep.
It's a boss down there. I don't remember him appearing in the list, so... No, it's Black Demon of Rock. Right, let's go fight him anyway. Because experience is always nice. And while we're here... There's no sort of time penalty for having fights. That's something that was introduced in Atelier Tottery. Is, um... Fights taking a particular amount of time. So, like, if you got into too many fights, it would consume time and days that you might be able to better spend doing other things. But that's not something you have to worry about here. The only way to consume time in this one uh, is to actually travel. So, whether that's traveling between the workshop and a dungeon or traveling between the areas of a dungeon. Okay, good stuff. I want to try and make sure we're back on the 15th so that um, we can meet up with Cole. Because I have a feeling that it's somewhere around this point that uh, he unlocks a new area for you. Um, and we need that area for certain ingredients. So, uh, so two more days will take us to the 10th. That will take us to the 12th. And then one more day will take us to the 13th. So we've got plenty of time. Okay, there you go, the vultures again. We completed the gathering request so we can just wander straight off. And finally. Okay, and that takes care of that. Don't really need these things. The quality of the ingredients here is crap. I should, I should just leave them be, really. But, you know, you get into a rhythm with this. It's just so compulsive. You get to a point where you see your gathering point and you think, Oh, I should grab that, even if you know it's going to be rubbish. Anyway, we don't need to uh, actually walk back. We can just use the right bumper, right shoulder button, whatever you want to call it, and head back home. Excuse me a moment. Ah, do apologize. I just had a massive bogey up my nose, and it was really, really itchy. So uh, I just wanted to dispose of it, but I also didn't really want to... Uh, traumatize you with the the sight of me doing that so uh hopefully i ducked out of frame if not well that was a a special little extra treat for you anyway here's tantris oh he's a good guy really or is he? I honestly don't know. Like I say, this this is actually my first time seeing these scenes, so this is quite exciting for me. よりによってロロナに聞きに来るとはな。最初に言ったじゃないですか。この<笑> <laughs> they like him already. 
んだのだろう、はあ、久々に冷や汗をかいたよあのー、ああ気にしないでいいよ気にするなって言われても you probably should be okay what now It's Pamela the ghost. Find out what that is quite soon, I believe. Um, right, let's go report what we've done. May as well take that one for now. Okay, so the assignment is clear. That's that's quite a strange one in that you can you've either done it or you haven't. Um, but yeah, it, it is now done, so we're free to do whatever. So you know what that means? That means doing all of these other things. So let's do some requests up until the fifteenth, like I say, because we need to see Cole. Hmm, I should probably stop home making those at some point. I just... <laughs> I don't know, even when I haven't been playing this, it just sort of randomly occurred to me that I just suddenly thought, oh, I left home making loads of bombs. I should probably tell her to stop. But, uh, nah. Oh, Yakuto Wolf is a, um, a quest target. So, okay. Um, well, we can probably make some stew, can't we? Because that's not very difficult to make. Uh, happy basket. Yeah, apparently, we've got the ingredients for that as well, so we do that too. Must keep an eye on the time. Two days. So, like I said previously in this, um, this game does not wait for you. It doesn't remind you about things. Like, it never re reminds you that Cole comes on the 15th of each month. You just find it out the first time that um, he tells you that. So, you need to remember it for the rest of the game. And it's very, very easy to forget these sort of things. So, um, and this is a tradition that kind of continues in Tottery and Meruru as well. In, um, I think it was Tottery, there's a thing where. Someone just sort of casually mentions that something's going to happen in a couple of days. And they literally mean in a couple of days. So, like, if you're not there in two days' time, uh, you you miss out on an event completely. And there's there's no way of getting it after that. So, pay attention and save a lot. I should probably take my own advice, shouldn't I? Um, but anyway, what are we doing? Making some blank stew. Again, may as well make a few of those. And they do not need to be good quality, so you can have some lovely rotten meat and puny balls. And some shitty salt. And some disgusting water. Mmm, tasty. Okay, and then happy basket. Oh, that takes four days, so we don't want to do that right now. Um... What can we do for one day then? Well, let's go turn this in for starters. Uh, what else we got? Stir metal. Got some of those. Yep, you can have them. Uh, alchemy coal. He only wants one of those. I bet we can make that. Yep. 
Let's do that, and that will take us to the 15th. Let's also take that one as well, because it's good to get, um, like I said, it's good to get the shopkeepers' relationships up as well. Even though we've already unlocked um, Wholesale, there's still some events with them that are worth seeing. Okay, so. Something that ticks a day, if you please. Alchemy coal. Half a day for that. So again, we'll make two just to be efficient. Um, may as well make this reasonable quality at least. Uh, I don't know if I want to use that mushroom because that's... Alright, let's, let's make it moderately good. doesn't have to be amazing. Because you just know if we use the really good ingredients on something shit like this, there will be a time when we need really good ingredients later on and we won't have them. And I will kick myself and be sad and angry and you'll laugh at me and I don't want that. I kind of do, but not for being incompetent and stupid. It's the 15th. There he is. Right, has he got the thing we need? Oh, what is it? Oh, it's this. This. So we buy. You buy all of them. We'll also buy some of these as well. And a couple of them. Why not? Maybe some of those as well. That'll do. And now, hopefully, fingers crossed. No? Yeah, must be next time then. Um, yeah, you definitely do by buying those sunny crystals though. Um, and Rorana gets into a discussion with him about where he gets them from. And that unlocks a new dungeon for you. But apparently we can't do that yet. After I built it up. <laughs> right. Um, let's make our happy basket then. Again, don't want it to be too good. Right, we'll do. A lot of experience for that. And Tiffany wanted some barrels. I can only make one. What am I missing? Supplements. Alright, let's make an amazing supplement. Uh, yeah, sure. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and wholesale this with um, Tiffany. What's the most useful of these? Hmm. I don't know. That'll do. Okay, so if we then... Stop by. Oh, hold on. A event with coal. Yeah, maybe we need to build his friendship up a bit first. Oh well, um What was I doing? I was giving these to you. So you have 
one of these 87 quality so if you now look at her lineup she's now added that to the bottom there so she's currently got the one that i gave her uh, but over time that will gradually build up to a maximum stock of i think 10 at a time um and so you can you can come and buy them back in bulk every so often which is very helpful uh right so let's make her barrels then we can go turn all those quests in at the same time so she wanted two barrels in fact we can get rid of that wild scent now because we don't need that anymore Again, you don't need amazing quality for the minute. I always thought this was quite a sort of interesting um, bit of meta commentary. In that, um, if you, if you're batch producing something in this game, then you the quality tends to suffer somewhat because you won't have as many of the really good ingredients. I think it's a really nice way of, of representing that mechanically. Right. Uh, you can have one of those. You can have two of those. I have shitloads of that for some reason. Okay. So, uh, well, just got rid of the bloody wild scent, didn't I? Uh, I will accept that quest just so we get his um, relationship value off of zero Again, doesn't need to be good quality, so you can have one made from shitty unis and a moderately good bone. One day I'll resist. One day. But uh, that is not today. Because, you know, when the opportunity for a moderately good bone comes up, you have to take it, don't you? Okay. Uh, loads of them. Don't have enough stuff for that. Hmm. Uh, let's just go check what we need for which selves. Is it maybe something we can purchase from uh, Tiffany or someone? So, which self we need? Mandra roots, which are on sale at Tiffany's, I think. Yes, not many at once, but she does have them. So. Mean to go here, I meant to go here. The yeah, reason I'm interested in that one is uh, Geo is one of the characters I'm quite interested in seeing the ending for. And so, um, yeah, I want to take that quest, basically. Alright, uh, let's take some boss fight ones as well because they will get our reputation up and give us some money as well not that we not that we need money at the minute you know, over 100 grand which is about 100 times more the money than i had on this first time around but uh whatever uh i've forgotten already short-term memory like a sieve which shelf two
I'm going to use the mystery mushroom because we only have one of them. I don't think it's important, but it's always a good idea to keep hold of ingredients you only have one of, just in case you need them for something specific. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, you'll wish you'd been paying attention. Hmm, excuse me. Uh, pretty king one as well. Um, might as well. Yeah, evident. You can gather mystery mushrooms from somewhere because there's a quest for them. Uh, but I don't know where they are for now. For now, it's time for a killing spree. After this scene. This. This is one thing I really like about these games. The fact that they acknowledge the different combinations of party members you might have at different points. And there's quite a few scenes that are dependent on you having specific members in your party. So this one obviously only happens if you've got Leonella and Tantris in your party. So again, this is a scene I've never seen before. Very exciting. <laughs> I I knew that was his actual name. Like I hadn't looked it up or anything, but it's it's just so obvious. That's just a terrible, a terrible alias. Interesting. Very interesting. Right, so Wolf Boy is here. Isn't he? No, Pretty King is here. There he is. Dispatched. Admit it, you were looking at Leonella's breasts then, weren't you? Because I was. Uh, wolf habitat. That's where the thingy wolf is. There he is. Lots of shit treasure. Thirty three damage. Disgraceful. Unacceptable amount of damage for Rorona to be taking at this point in the game. 
Okay, and the other one we had was the big boss, I think, who's in the mines. Yes. So, let's pay them a visit. And again, just need to make sure we're back in time for the 15th. Uh, where is he? Yeah. Yeah, if you look in that little map screen, it'll actually say target monster when there's a, um, a boss that you're supposed to be defeating. Or a, a quest monster or something like that. So you don't have to waste time searching through areas that uh, aren't relevant. One damage, that's more like it. Nicely done, Rorana. Manly motivation. I love it. Manly iron. Excellent. Oh, is that a thing for Tantris? Sounds like it might be. Yes, it is, but it's... Hmm... More hit points is slightly more attack, but lower speed. I think on the whole, that's not amazing. So we'll leave that for now. Um, okay, so all those quests are done. A bunch of our requests are done as well. Or the assignments, I should say. Uh, so back to the workshop. And then turn in these quests. That ice uh, hunting quest, generally, the bonus condition for them is just do them as quickly as you can. So, um, yeah, good stuff. All right. Hmm, still can't do much with those. Maybe we just go and grind alchemy a bit. So. Hold on, let's pay attention. So it does actually, if you look at the bottom of the make window, it does tell you when you'll be finished by. And you also need to pay attention to things like the MP costs. So if we if we do that one, you'll notice the success rate drops right down to 39% because we're using more MP than we've got. Um, so let's just do seven of these for now. And let's make them good quality. Because these might be useful for um, actually making some equipment with. Okay, nice combination of traits as well. And loads of experience. Look at that. Lovely. Right. Um, we're out of MP. So let's rest for a couple of days. Okay, and that gives us a couple more days before the 15th. I care about you, Pamela, ghost waifu.
しかも帰ってきた瞬間それを見せつけるなんてどこがひちゃついてるように見えるんですかまあこの件は後でじっくり She's talking about being gay with each other パメラちょっと付き合いいいものを用意してやったぞいいもの There we go. So, Coco, that されていたらしいからな。使うって。お店退屈で仕方ないとぼやいていただろう。さて、どうしたものかと考えながら街を歩いていたら。お店。では決まりだな。ちょ、ちょ、ちょっと待ってください。何か問題があるのか。だってパメ
これかそれはそんなーそこをなんとかうーんまあいいか姉ちゃんはお得意様だしなやったー町の北西にずーっと歩いたとこにチュテルコーチって場所があるんだよあんまり遠くて誰も行かないからあそこの材料はほとんど俺の店の独占になってるんだけどさそうなんだ行くのはいいけど何かあっても俺は責任取らねえぞそんな危ない場所なんだあれでもコール君は一人で取りに行ってるんだよねまあな誰かと釣るものは好きじゃねえし「#relatable」なんで平気なの何か特別な方法があるとかそれこそ企業秘密だよ I always find his two-tone hair quite distracting I don't know. I like it. There's a couple of characters who have hairstyles like that in this, and uh, yeah, it's one way that they're made distinctive. Okay, um, let's just go turn in this quest, and then I think we'll call that episode here for today because this uh, that's a good natural place to stop. I think. Uh, don't want to drag on for too long. Um, I know that's pretty rich coming from me, but. Well, there we go. Anyway, so we have a new dungeon to explore from next time. So we'll do that next time. Uh, for now, I'm going to save. And I'm also going to say, as always, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please help out the channel by leaving a like or a comment and subscribing. Be sure to check out moegamer.net for new articles on Japanese and Japanese inspired video games, new and old, every weekday. Every month, Moegamer features an in depth exploration of an individual game or series as its cover game, so be sure to check the archives to see if your favourite has had a deep dive yet. If you'd like to support the site directly, please consider becoming a patron or buying me a coffee. You can find links to do both down in the video description. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.